One nothing Richmond with the latest players at the top of the fourth inning. Here on a beautiful Sunday afternoon at River City. Gary Brown, a leadoff home run at the bottom of the first inning, providing all the scoring through the first three innings today. Rob Brantley, the Erie catcher, late things off for the Seawolves here at the top of the fourth. Jordan Leonardton and Raleigh Bishop to follow. Facing right-hander Justin Fitzgerald, first pitch. Hit for a strike, curveball from Justin, nothing in one to Brantley. Grounded out to first in the first inning. Hard hit ball right at Johnny Monell, the Richmond first baseman. The ball's at a strike. And Fitzgerald's pitch. Outside, he missed off speed, and the count levels at one and one. Justin trying to bounce back after a tough loss his last go around against the Altoona curve. In lasting just four and two thirds innings. The 1 1. So we had a hard hit ball down the right field line. That one hooking foul. Brantley now trailing the count. One ball at two strikes. Fitzgerald trying to get his first victory since May 13th against the Bay Sox. He's dropped two of his last three starts. The one two delivery by Fitzgerald. Swing it a foul back. Brantley just getting the piece of the breaking ball to hang in there with the one ball and two strike count. When Fitzgerald is on, he could certainly have a lot of success, especially at this level, as was evidence at his start at the beginning of May at Harrisburg. The one two pitch just missed outside. Two balls, two strikes to Brantley. Eight and a third scoreless that day. Gave up just four hits. If it weren't for his pitch count, he would have went the distance. Now the 2-2. Swing and a bouncer left side. Played deep in the hole. It's short by Adrianza. A long throw to first. Just a bit late. Adrianza nearly a highlight reel play. It's short. Brantley will reach on an infield base hit. Again, a bouncer on the left side. Played on one hop by Adrianza's momentum carrying him toward left. Floated a throw across the diamond. And Brantley beat it out by a step. Leadoff man on for the Seawolves. Third hit of the game for Erie. Jordan Leonard's it up. First pitch left-hand batter. Fouled away to the left side. Nothing and one the count. Leonard's in a tough series. 0 for 7 now after striking out the first. He has fanned five times. Just walked once. Infield double play depth in the 0-1. Low it outside. Fitzgerald went off speed. Count evens on Leonardton to DH. One ball and one strike. Run on three hits and an error for Richmond. No runs, three hits, no errors for Erie. Fitzgerald set and his 1-1 to Leonardton. Swing and a miss. Off speed pitch and Leonardton trailing the count of ball at two strikes. Guy who entering the series came into the top three in the Eastern League in home runs and RBIs. One ball and two strikes to count. Delivery by Fitzgerald. Low and away, missed with a fastball. Count evens on Leonard to two balls and two strikes. Again, when Justin is commanding his pitches, he can be very effective. Two balls and two strikes to count. And the pitch by Fitzgerald. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Leonardton fans against Fitzgerald for the second straight at bat. Third strike out of the afternoon for the Richmond right-hander. And Raleigh Bishop, the first baseman, will be up next for Erie. Runner at first with one away here at the top of the fourth. Squirrels a one nothing lead on Gary Brown's second home run of the year. Bishop, no batting gloves on as he stands in for the right side. First pitch. Takes low, ball one. Bishop struck out swinging, leading off the second. Fitzgerald, the 11th round pick of the Giants back in 2008 out of UC Davis. Turn and toss to first, and they've got Brantley caught between first and second. But now chasing him toward the second base back, and Johnny will apply the tag as Brantley went in diving to second. Picked off one to three.
Brantley was leaning as Fitzgerald threw over, and at that point, he was toast. So now the base is empty with two outs here in the top of the fourth. 1-0 the count on Bishop at the pitch. Swing and a foul right side off the end of the bat. And the count levels on Bishop with one ball and one strike. Erie has had some trouble on the base pass. Second runner that's been picked off in this series. Next pitch, swing and a miss. Fitzgerald a good fastball, 93 at the knees. Bishop trailing the count one and two. Nobody on two outs, top of the fourth. One nothing, Squirrels. The ball and two strikes with a pitch by Fitzgerald. Swing a high fly ball, deep into left center. Gary Brown going back, the center fielder at the track. He leaps, and he got it. Oh, my, Gary Brown. Leaping at the fence, makes a highlight reel catch. And the top of the fourth comes to a close in style. Justin Fitzgerald waiting outside the squirrel's dugout to high-five Gary Brown as he took away extra bases from Bishop. And we will head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Flying Squirrels, a 1-0 lead over the Seawolves. 1-0 Flying Squirrels. Gary Brown putting on a show here in the series finale. As Juan Siriaco leads off with the Squirrels to the bottom of the fourth. Takes a low on the first pitch from the lefty De La Cruz. Ball one. Juan Perez, Mark Minakazi to follow. 5-6 at 7 for the Squirrels. The 1-0 pitch. There's a swing and a pop-up right side foul. That drifts into the upper deck. Count even on Siriaco and a ball and a strike. 0 for 1, lined out to short, ending the Richmond first. Brown a home run in the bottom of the first inning to give Richmond its lone run. It's the 1-1. Pass ball low for ball two. And then Gary making a spectacular leaping catch up against the fence in left center to end the Erie fourth inning. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch is low to Siriaco. Three balls and a strike to one. Fans behind the Squirrels dugout giving Brown a standing ovation as he came off the field. A 3-1 pitch. Swing at a fly ball centered. Johnson drifting to his right. Center fielder will reach up and make a one-hand catch. Sunglasses gleaming. And Siriaco is retired with the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. Gary Brown's solo home run holding up right now. Richmond a one to nothing lead. Juan Perez will step in for the right side against the lefty De La Cruz. Been a wild 2012 for the former Cleveland Indians prospect. First pitch to Perez. Shows bunt. Takes a strike. Fastball at the knees. Nothing and one. He was designated for assignment by Cleveland back in February. So when a press bounced in, a ball and a strike to count. That to clear room for Casey Kochman on the Indians roster. And then the Indians ended up trading him to the Texas Rangers for cash. One and one the count. And the pitch with one out by De La Cruz. There's a swing and a shot in the center field. It's going to be right at Johnson. The center fielder will take a step to his left and make the catch. Line drive from Perez. It's out number two here in the bottom of the fourth. one nothing Richmond, and Mark Minakazi will bat with the bases empty. Well, then, after being with the Rangers for a month, they traded him back to Cleveland. Indians had him for a handful of days, got him for cash considerations, just the same way they shipped him off to Texas. Then they designated him for assignment before Detroit finally claimed him. First pitch, Minakazi, a big swing and a miss on a fastball, strike one. Mark walked with one down in the second. That's with nobody aboard, two away, bottom of the fourth. one nothing Richmond. Ayla Cruz rocks and fires his 0-1. Low and away, missed off speed. One ball and one strike to count on the Richmond DH. Minakazi now one for five as a flying squirrel. Appearing in his third game with the club. 1-1 pitch outside. Another off-speed pitch from De La Cruz. And now he trails to the count of Minikazi, 2-1. Of course, De La Cruz, a brilliant 2008. 
the Indians farm system. It's two on a minute Kazi. Take it for a strike. Off speed again. This one was over. And the count levels of two balls and two strikes. When a combined 12 and 6 across three levels. 2980 ERA and 27 starts. And Akazi fouls the 2 2 back to the screen. Count still two balls and two strikes. And nobody aboard. Two outs here in the last of the fourth. 1 0 Richmond ahead of Erie in the series finale. Rubber match of the three game set. Two two pitch from De La Cruz. Now it is low and the count runs full. De La Cruz was limited to just five starts back in 2009. Made two appearances in high A Kinston and then suffered a ligament injury in his left elbow. His payoff to Mitakazi. Swinging a high fly ball to left. Gator backs on it at the track. He'll reach up and make a one hand catch. Mitakazi and the squirrels done in the fourth. High fly ball from Mark Minikazi. And it's a loud, noisy out number three. De La Cruz turns in a perfect fourth. And we'll head to the top of the fifth inning. Flying Squirrels still ahead of the Seawolves. One to nothing. 